I'm Chad. He's Matt. This is the p thing that we do where we re record and review games. We got a scale. It's a good scale. It's out of five, each category. Categories are graphics, sound, gameplay, fun factor, and challenge. Graphics are the way it looks, sound is the way it sounds, gameplay is the way it plays, fun factor is how much fun we had enjoying it, and challenge is whether or not it's worth actually picking up to play. I finally figured out the true definition of the challenge one after changing it like a thousand mm. different times. <laughs> this week's game is the Simpsons arcade game. It is the last in the Simpsons arcade game, and or the last in the Simpsons dialogue or catalog of games that we're doing. So with that being said, I'm going to throw it to Matt. He's going to start us off and give us his five category points. Graphic sound, gameplay, fun actor, and challenge. One through five. One is a mess. Five is good. We don't go lower than zero, or we don't go lower than one. There's no zero, and we don't go higher than five. There is a scale, and it cannot be broken. With that being said, Matt, this intro is terrible. Take it away. Okay, as far as graphics are concerned, I believe this is a solid presentation from front to back. Uh, I love the character animations. They're solid for both the main characters and for all the enemies and side characters and things like that. Uh, level designs are just completely brimming over the top with personality. I love that it captures, like, truly does capture the essence of the craziness and zaniness of what this show is at all about. So... I have nothing really bad on this front. It's an easy uh, five out of five for me on this part. Um, as far as the sound is concerned, I believe most of the tracks here are solid with a few forgettable ones here and there. Um, the voiceovers, though, the main characters and villains are fantastic. I love that. Um, as for the sound effects themselves, they, they're they cheesy and over the top, but it's it's endearing and silly, and it's, you know, it's what you come to expect from The Simpsons as a whole. So uh, I'm not going to go any lower than a 4 out of 5 on this one. Uh, gameplay, and this comes this comes as no surprise with any game that's a beat-em-up. It's repetitive, sure, but it doesn't make, doesn't make it take away from anything being fun. Um, I believe all the mechanics here work and there's just enough variation for each character as far as their fighting styles and stuff like that are concerned to add a slight bit of strategy to the gameplay and the mini games and boss fights and things like that. They do add in some, some variety to keep things from getting too stale too quickly. And I would have, to, it's not, um, and then nothing else is really particularly bad or noteworthy about it, so I'm going to go with a 4 out of 5 on this one. As for fun factor, um, I, I, I have fun with this game for the nostalgia alone, for all the references and things like that. Um, but sometimes it can feel a little bit long in the tooth because um, the level layout, um, they kind of take it a little bit too long, for especially for a beat-em-up. You don't want to be playing beat-em-up stages for no longer than a maybe a few minutes at a time, and sometimes I feel like they don't capture that very well. But it's not a major problem, and I still had a, uh, I still had quite a bit of fun with this, and I'm going to go with a 4 out of 5 on Fun Factor. As for Challenge, I believe this game is worth playing. It is Sure, it's easy, but, I mean, what game? And This is a quarter muncher, so, yeah, you, 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 what you see is what you get in that department. But it is it is overall worthwhile. It's a worthwhile play. Not perfect or whatnot, but good enough for me. I'm going to stick a solid landing and stick with a three on this one. Well, I'm going to hop in with graphics being a four out of five. I don't have the same affinity for this one as I do for others. Uh, and, and it mostly comes down to the main characters. I, and it could be the emulations because, you know, gasp, we, we didn't play the actual arcade version. Uh, the main characters just kind of look, I, I don't know the right way to say it, but they look like they're bleeding into the background. And, and definitely they don't pop like they should. And uh, I don't know what emulation you played, but the one I played had Bart not even in his actual color scheme. I don't know why. So, like, that was kind of an odd thing. There was some issues I had with the graphics. So I can't, I can't give it a five because it didn't feel like a complete and total 100% uh, uh, recreation of the, of the series. Uh, as far as sound goes, uh, I don't know what it was. I fucking hated it. <laughs> and it wasn't necessarily the music, but the music didn't help. But the sound effects just grated on my nerves. And I don't know if I was just in a bad mood when I played it or, or, if, or, or if I'm just too audited. 
you know, too auditory in, in my sensibilities to appreciate this game or, or look past the issues, but I got to give sound a two. Like, th- this game was making me a little cranky. <laughs> and when games do that, I can't, I can't. It's got to be a two. Um, as far as gameplay goes, it, it is a beat-em-up. It's, it's rudimentary, it's repetitive, and, and, you know, you're just asking one question. Is the hit detection fair? It is. But it's not creative, so I got to give it a three. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a fun enough game, but I, I'm not a big beat-em-up guy, so I can only have too much fun with this, so I, I, I got to give it a three. But it is The Simpsons, and it's always worth playing. And that's why I think the challenge is definitely, uh, you know, of a fair variety. I agree with you. It's a, a three overall for challenge. Uh, so altogether, that gives us a 17.5 out of 25 which is good enough for a 70%. So there you go, 70%. If you look at the scale on the screen, it, 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 it'll, it'll, it'll tell you, you know, what a 70% is. I, I can't see the, the, the deets at the moment, so you're going to have to just be on your own. Uh, but yeah, 70% is a pre- pretty decent game. Go play it. It's, it's a little rudimentary, and the sound might make you want to commit her car, but it's not bad. You might enjoy it. So, with that being said, we're done. Check it out at the website at realnerdcorp.com, R-E-A-L-N-E-R-D-C-O-R-P. And uh, we'll see you guys for the podcast over on twitch.tv backslash realnerdcorp or nerdcorp. I don't know which one it is anymore. Everything's just bleeding into each other. The draft has broken my brain. For Matt, I'm Chad. We're out of here. Say goodnight, Matt. Good night, everybody.